Hello YouTube and welcome to another Redis tutorial. So in this video, I will show you how to deploy and run Redis in Docker. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on my previous videos, actually Redis is a very fast in-memory database. It's actually a key value data store. Okay, so here I'm going to show you how to run it, but in Docker this time. So first thing first, you have actually to make sure that Docker is running. Okay, so I'm not going here to show you how to install Docker because I already done that in my previous videos. You can take a look if you want. So to check if Docker is running, use the command system control. Okay, status and Docker to see if the service is up and running. So as you can see here, the service is actually active and running. Okay. So now I can work with Redis. Okay. So actually in order to work with Redis in Docker, you have to pull the image. Okay. So in order to pull the image also, the command is pretty easy. Docker pull and the image name. So I want to use Redis and you hit enter. So actually it will download the latest version of Redis image. But me, I already done that. So as you can see here, the status image is up to date for Redis because it uses by default the tag latest, which means it will download the latest version. So to check if the image is actually pulled or download, you can just execute command sudo docker image list. So here it will show all the images in your system. So here, as you can see, Redis is created two weeks ago. So it has a size of 105 megabytes. So I can work with this image. So of course I download also some versions of MongoDB, but here we are not going to use MongoDB, just Redis. Okay. So now the image is pulled. So to run it, it's pretty easy. Also, always we use sudo in order to execute our command in root privilege mode. So Docker. Okay. Then run because we want to run a container. So this container, we want to give it a name. So if you don't want to give it a name, it's okay. The system will give you a random name, but here let's choose a pretty custom name. So I will call my container, for example, Redis01. It's pretty easy because it's our first container. Okay. And I will run it in the background or in daemon mode. This is minus D because I want to run it in the daemon mode or in the background. And of course, at last we must specify our image. So here we want to use the image redis that we have already pulled or downloaded. So the name is redis. So it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Okay. I will hit enter and you see this ID has been created, which means that the container actually has run. So to verify that we can execute the command sudo docker ps to see all the running containers. So here you can see the container ID, which starts with 2p02 something. Okay. It uses the image redis. So the command and it was created 14 seconds ago and status is up. And here also some very interesting uh, information. It's about the port. It's using the port 6379, which is the default port for Redis. Okay. And the name that we have specified before it's Redis 01. So we can actually work with our container using even this name Redis 01 or the container ID, which starts with 2P02. So now let's interact with this container. So in order to interact with it, we use the command sudo docker and exec and here minus it for interactive terminal. Okay. And also we must 
actually specify the ID of the container of the name. So here, for example, specify the container ID. So I have just to start the first three or four letters to be to be 02. Okay, or you can just here specify the name which is radius 01. And also I want to execute a shell inside this container. So I will use dash sh for shell in order to connect with shell of the container. So the command here is pretty easy, doc exec minus it and container name, then the shell that we want to execute. Here we go. So now we are inside the container shell. So now I can execute finally the command, the very famous command redis cli in order to work with the commands in our container. Here we go. So now you can see I am inside the command line for the redis. Of course, I can show you the keys, but I don't have any key right now. So let's create one. So let's set a name, for example, like uh, Amine or something like that. We can also set an address for that. So as I told you, Redis is a key value store, so I can give any address I want. Build in five, for example, build in five New York, say. Okay. So here I just created two uh, keys. Here we go. So now I can execute my command keys in order to show you all the keys that I have. If you want to get a value, all you have to do is to type get and the key name. So for the key name, it will me give me Amina. And for the key address, it will give me, of course, the address that I have provided previously. So now I can work with Redis using just Docker container. Okay. So let me exit from this. Here we go. And I can also exit from shell. Here we go. But here you can see that the container is still running. And I have the same ID and the same name. Okay. So now let's say that you want actually to launch Redis, but with the specific uh, config file. So as you have seen on my previous video, you can specify a Redis config file for specific actually parameters. For example, here on the current directory, I have a file called redis.conf. So let me show you the content of this file here. Let's use nano editor, but you can use whatever editor you want. So in this current directory, I have a config file, redis.conf. Actually, I have to provide, uh, to use actually sudo command because I need root privileges. Here we go. So inside this redis.config file, I specified something very interesting, which is the security, because I want to use authentication in order to work with Redis. So here, if you go to the section security, it's on the bottom of the file, I guess. Yes, you can see here that I'm using a specific pass to authenticate, which is secret. Okay, because this command here require pass which is equal in this case to secret allows us to connect uh, to actually Redis, but using authentication and to provide the secret. Okay. So how can I run actually Redis, but using the specific config file here, as you can see redis.conf. So remember this redis.conf exists in this directory because I'm here in slash home slash Amine, there is redis.conf. But how can I specify or launch another instance of Redis but using this 
specific file, this custom file. So in order to do that, let's launch another actually instance or container. So I will use Docker run and I will give it a specific name. So let's call it Redis02, for example. Okay. And in order to use the specific config file, I have here to map a volume. So I will map this Redis that I have in the current directory redis.conf file. I will map it to the redis.config file inside the container. So the location is user slash user slash local slash etc. Okay. Slash redis slash redis.conf. Okay. And I have to launch it in daemon mode and I'm using here the image redis that I have pulled from the store or from the Docker hub previously. So this commands allow you actually to use this specific redis.config file that has actually a security parameter that I have changed it, which is using authentication. So let's run that and verify it's working. Okay, so I have here the container ID. So let's connect to it. Or first of all, let me execute Docker PS to show you the instances that I have now. So we have actually two instances. The first one, which is Redis 01, and second one, which is Redis 02. So let's connect actually to this Redis 02, which has a specific Redis.config file. So I'll use sudo docker and the exec command minus it for interactive terminal then i have to specify here the container name which is redis02 in this case which because it's the one that has actually the custom redis config file okay and of course I want to log into the shell. Here we go. So now I am inside shell. So I can execute Redis CLI. Here we go. I'm connected. Let's see if I can execute command here keys. Okay. It has an empty array. Okay. But you can actually get the key for the require pass so here you can see it's quite empty okay so here of course you can set this key so I can do that config set and require pass you can give it for example secret as password okay here we go. So now if you get, you have this secret password. Okay. And of course, this time, if you want to log in once again, let me execute command read a CLI. Here we go. Let me see the keys. So here, of course, you have to provide the authentication because I cannot execute anymore the command keys. So in order to execute it, you have to specify actually the password, which in this case is secret. So now I can execute the command keys. Okay. So that was just a brief introduction how to use or actually to deploy and run Redis inside container docker container actually as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye